Are you ready? Hello, my frugal friends and lovers of the Dollar Tree. My name is Christine. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to cover all of the cool finds I found at one of my semi-close Dollar Tree stores here for October slash fall of 2021. If you love the Dollar Tree and finding awesome deals there, smash that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm and let's go over new and exciting finds that I ran into. Let's start with food. I always peruse the food aisle in hopes of some gems like the coconut rolls I covered in this video. And there were two things that stood out to me. One that was great and one that was not so great. Feels a little scamish to me. So the first one is right now their pinto bean bags are one and a half pounds for a dollar. Now the one pound bag is meh, an okay deal, but the one and a half pound bags that is where it's at. That is an amazing amount of dried beans for the price of only $1. So if you happen to see that at your store, go ahead and pick it up. It was not every style of bean. It was only the pinto beans. And right next to the pinto beans, they had jasmine rice. I don't really know what that means. I love jasmine rice and it's usually more expensive. They're claiming it's an entire one pound bag of jasmine rice. But when I took a closer look at this so-called jasmine rice, it just looks like your standard short grain white rice. It doesn't look like jasmine rice. So I don't know what the rules are for stating that on the bag, but I think that one might be a miss this time. So let's pass on that one. Now, this isn't the best deal as far as food goes at the Dollar Tree, but I do enjoy a seasonal flavor or two. So when I saw the oatmeal, they had the pumpkin spice and the gingerbread oatmeal flavors. I had to buy them and dry them out. So the one I tried out was the gingerbread flavor and it's Honestly, it's delicious. It cooks up just like Quaker. It tastes basically the same. You know the cinnamon and spice flavor that Quaker makes? It tastes a lot like that. So if you wanna try out the seasonal oatmeal flavors, you should gladly do so. I will gladly do so. But as far as getting a deal on it, probably not so much as you could probably get a bigger package somewhere else. Heading into the book section. It's one of my favorite sections of any store, basically. Author of Huckleberry Finn. Tom Sawyer. Oh, sorry, the answer is Ernest Hemingway. Sorry. They have a ton of hardback books for only a dollar. Now, not all of them are gonna be the ones that you're gonna wanna buy and bring home, but I saw cookbooks, memoirs, all kinds of hardback books that would normally go for an original price of 10 to $30 each. In fact, I do know that there are a lot of people here on YouTube, you can go look it up, they run into the Dollar Tree, they buy all of the hardback books and then resell them on Amazon for a hefty profit. Now, I'm no pro at that, so I will leave them to instruct you how to do that if that's something you're interested in, but if you're looking for a side hustle, you could be lucrative. I love to travel, but what I don't like to do is shopping for those little travel size guys that can fit into your airplane carry-on bag. I find that the ones at Walmart and Target are pretty expensive, but what's cool is that Dollar Tree had like a three pack of empty bottles that you can just refill with your standard, like your favorite products for only a dollar, which is cheaper than basically anywhere else you're going to find. They even have pre-filled ones, but we don't know about the quality of those, so I might pass on that one. And some of them even had a loofah inside, which was cool. Right next to the travel stuff, I found bath salts. And bath salts can run pretty expensive, like your bath salts, bath bombs, those kind of things. Now, I'm not sure about the quality of this first one, but I was super surprised to find the Village Naturals Therapy brand in single packs at the Dollar Tree, because that's the brand I buy from Walmart. Those are, that's my favorite one, actually. I have a whole canister at home sitting on my bathtub right now. Is it gonna be a better deal at Dollar Tree? Not necessarily, because the larger containers can go for fairly cheap at Walmart. But if you are looking for some kind of travel situation, a gift bag, these little single use packets can really come in handy. And I think they're a good find. And the quality on that brand is top notch. They're fabulous. This is my dog, Speedy. He is a toy poodle. He's 10 years old and he is a rescue. And in the dog section, they had something that little Speedy enjoyed. They have a metal, like food and water bowls with a rubber ring at the bottom so they don't slip around. And I admit that my food and water bowls are very sad because they're just old, cheap, glad containers. So we splurged for Speedy at the Dollar Tree. 
<laughs> and got him a new water bowl. He loves it. And it's so much easier to clean than that crappy old plastic one. So we tossed that. They also had a separate plastic option with rubber thingies on the feet for a food and water bowl in one. But I found it to be really, really small. My dog is a small dog. Like he's only seven pounds. Unless you have maybe a, a Yorkie or something, I find it too small to be truly effective. So I would leave that one there and get the larger metal one for your pets. Oh, unless it's for a cat. I don't have a cat, so I don't know about that. Get out. Go. Let's talk band-aids. I happen to be out of all of my band-aids at my house and with four children, that is unacceptable because sometimes you just need a band-aid. For only a dollar, I was very happy to try out the flexible fabric style band-aids. It's my favorite kind of band-aid. Purchased a box, brought it home for my at-home first aid kit, tried it out on my own arm to test the stickiness, durability, and I gotta say, it's sticky. It stuck really well, it was very flexible, it, it matched up to basically any of the other brands I bought at any other store, and when it came time to remove from my arm, it definitely pulled my arm hair. Ah, <laughs> Just rip off the band-aid. <laughs> I found some e.l.f. makeup at my Dollar Tree, the brand e.l.f. makeup, which is definitely a cheaper brand, but my Walmart is now charging three to six dollars each for the e.l.f. makeup. So to get it for only a dollar at the Dollar Tree is an awesome deal in comparison. And speaking of makeup and colors, they have a ton of, I think they're supposed to be Halloween-like, glow-in-the-dark nail polish from LA Color and some stick-on nails from the same company. Now, I didn't get the stick-on nails to try out because I have like weirdly shaped nails and stick-on nails never fit me, but I did grab a couple of the glow-in-the-dark colors to try at home and see how they work. So I painted them on and I will say for a dollar, it's pretty good quality. You're, you're not getting salon quality here. It's a buck, okay? But I think with two coats, it's gonna cover really nicely. It dried really well. It was easy to work with. One thing you do need to note is that it's glow in the dark with a black light. It's not just straight up glow in the dark. So unless you have a black light, you're not gonna see anything. It wouldn't be a Dollar Tree video unless we talked about the organization options. There are a ton of varieties, styles, colors, for any kind of storage that you want to do. I'm pretty picky when it comes to my storage options. And I found these clear bins with lids and I thought they would be the perfect option for organizing all of the Legos. I have three sons. Building and Legos is has been and still is one of their favorite toys. They all have sets upon sets and I don't like Legos all over my house. Like, call me crazy. So I love it when they can organize their Legos the way that they want. My boys typically like to do it by color instead of by set. So I grabbed a couple of them to see how they work and Andrew is very excited about his new Lego storage options. I was really surprised to find brand name command strips. Now they have the off-brand ones, but sometimes when you're hanging things on the wall, the off-brand doesn't make me sleep well at night. But the command strips I have used for years and years and years. So they have the single two pound command strip. One of the things I like to do is hang it on the wall of my closet to hang my necklaces. They all hang nice and pretty. They're by my clothes so I can pick a necklace to wear instead of all getting jumbled in a, a jewelry box and never wearing them because they're all tangled. A couple more storage options. They have this cool towel rack that goes over a cabinet. It's expandable and it's only a dollar. So if you live in a small apartment or house, so there's not a lot of places to hang a towel like in your kitchen or in your bathroom, this is a great option. I tried it out in my own house and it works really well. Or let's say you're renting and you can't install anything and there's not anything there. This is great to be able to have a towel in your bathroom or in your kitchen if you're cooking and you wanna like keep a towel out at the kitchen sink and there's nowhere to hang one, you could just put it right there. And then another one that I tried out was the large storage bags. Now I just bought a ton of storage bags like this from Walmart. They're expensive by the way, to get the big ones. I was trying to shrink down a bunch of like blankets and pillows and stuff. So I got this one from the Dollar Tree to try out and it says large. Uh, but it isn't. It's actually pretty small. So make sure you're looking at the measurements on the outside of the bag. It works for towels. So if you like seasonal towels, beach towels, it's almost winter time. It's time to put them away for the season. This is a good option. It works perfectly fine with my vacuum hose. Uh, the seal was easy to do and it is only a buck, but they are definitely not large. Something else that was cool were the belt 
holders, which I thought could also be used for ties. I have four boys in my house. My husband wears business professional to work, which is like suits and ties to work. My sons all have like belts and ties that they use for church. So I definitely wanted a better option than just like a random hanger and you kind of hang them over, but they fall out. These are felt covered. So once you put a tie in that hole, it doesn't move. And I thought these worked really well for a dollar. It is that time, it's that season where all of the holidays are like bam, 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 bam. Halloween, Christine's birthday, Thanksgiving, Christmas, <laughs> New Year's, that's what it is. Don't forget my birthday's in November. Dollar Tree does indeed have all of the seasons out right now. So if you need the Halloween goodies, they have basically anything you could think of. So if you are balling on a budget and you love to decorate your house for the holidays, Dollar Tree is the place to do it. I'm going to show you a bunch of this stuff, but I will tell you that I did not buy any of this stuff because decorating is not really my thing. It's not my forte, but even I thought some of, uh, some of these items were pretty cute. All of these owls are like orange and green. I think they're pretty cute. Are they fall? Since when are owls like Fall, Thanksgiving, deep Halloween. Like, what is it about the owl? I'm not sure. As I was saying. They have cute storage boxes that I don't know what to do with, but I know other people with better ideas than me who would do a great job with them. There were pumpkin bins that I thought were adorbsies. One of my favorite items was the solar lights. Now, I don't know how well they work because I didn't buy them, but I'm tempted to because I think my kids would really get a kick out of it. But they have all kinds of shapes for these solar lights to like light up your pathway for trick-or-treaters. They have pumpkins, ghosts, eyeballs. My favorite one was the ghost with the arms. I thought he was super cute. And speaking of pumpkins, they have pumpkins of all varieties. Any kind of pumpkin you could want, jack-o'-lantern, big, small, tree decorations, outside decorations, inside decorations, they got you covered. There are window stickers, yard decor, decor? Decor, how do you pronounce it? My kid's favorite Halloween decoration are the spider webs that you like stretch across your front door uh, to make it look scary. They have that too. Ghosts that you can hang from the tree. And speaking of ghosts, Haley and I are re-watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer right now and we just saw the Halloween episode in season two where Willow becomes a ghost. Oh my God, I'm a real ghost. Who's your favorite character? Is it Willow? Is it Xander? Is it Spike? Is it Angel? I know it's not Riley, right? <laughs> Couple of other things of note for Halloween, they had trick or treat bags for going out to trick or treat. I'm telling Ryan about the bags and I'm showing them to him. And he's like, mom, I don't need those bags. I was like, oh really, why not? Why don't you need that? He goes, I'm just gonna use my pillowcase. <laughs> Even though I was offering him a Halloween bag to use, no, 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 no. My nine-year-old is all about the pillowcase life. Halloween. They had Halloween socks. One item I loved is if you do Halloween parties, they have treat bags, 10 for a dollar treat bags. So you could do party favors in them. I thought that was a great idea. And don't forget about the Halloween candy. Most of your chocolates are not a deal, but they do have those one pound bag of fruit chews, as well as the one pound bag of the gummy worms and bears, which I bought, we tried out and they are delicioso. I can highly recommend the one pound bag of the worms and bears, snakes and bears. Worms and bears? I can't remember which one it was. We're done with Halloween, let's move on to fall and Thanksgiving. Fall and Thanksgiving, sweetie. The thing I noticed right off the bat when I walked in is they had cups and plates and bowls and glasses galore. So if you are into hosting parties and you want your seasonal dishes for said parties, you can definitely get a custom set for not very much money. They have placemats. I actually like placemats. I just don't buy them because I find that I'm super low maintenance when it comes to my tablescape, meaning I don't really do one. And one thing they had is chargers, like plate chargers. I've always wanted to buy them and I have never done it. But I feel like if you're going to, only a dollar is a pretty good way to bump up your tablescape. Oh my gosh, new challenge for me. Christine decorates a tablescape for a holiday. Can I even do it? I don't know. Can I make a tablescape on a budget? I feel a little bit like Sandra Lee showing off my tablescape. A beautiful centerpiece. You can do this year round. There were signs, leaves everywhere. They had the owls again. What's up with the owls? Minding your own business. A fall item I love are the ribbons. I adore ribbons. I just don't know what to do with ribbons. They scare me, like I love them and I want to buy them, but they scare me because then I would have to do something with them and I don't really know what to do with them. But my favorite ribbons they had were the chevron and the plaid ribbons, I loved those. And then they had the red truck. Can someone explain to me why the red truck is so 
popular. What's up with the truck? And I hope you're ready for Christmas because Dollar Tree is ready for Christmas. It starts with the arts and crafts, which my kids truthfully really love. And dude, if it keeps my kids happy for 30 minutes during that two week Christmas break, I will do it. <laughs> Once again, they have the ribbons that I love and I don't know what to do with. They also have tool if you like to decorate your banister or your Christmas tree with those. I tried to decorate my tree with tool last Christmas and it was a disaster. Did someone help him? Tool and me are not friends, but I can admire it from a distance. <laughs> they have the faux snow, which sounds like a horrible plan if you have children in your house. They have the gnomes, like Santa gnomes. Are you guys fans of the gnomes? What is it with the red trucks and the gnomes? They are very popular. And the one thing I did like were the mini Christmas tree decor pieces. Now that I could probably figure out something to do with. There you have it. If you have something awesome at your Dollar Tree that I did not find this time, let me know down below so I can take a peek the next time I head over there. Let me know if you have tried some of these items. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I hope you have an amazing weekend. Bye-bye.